Hey guys, so just like you, I watch a lot of WoW videos and recently I watched one from uh, Ted, who's a paladin, and he had a really unique uh, idea with a weapon that I haven't seen before. Um, so that video in and of itself was really interesting, but within the video I noticed that he was using uh, the ancient Hakari Manslayer, which is a axe out of uh, ZG. It has a chance to proc a lifesteal effect and this lifesteal effect scales 100% with your spell power. So one thing I wanted to know was if this has an internal cooldown, but by watching the footage that he provided, I saw that at one point in the video, he actually procs it uh, three times, basically back to back. And you can notice that with the, it has like a green glow effect on his hands. Um, and he has probably roughly around 200 spell power as a paladin and you can see it's hitting for 237 uh, damage and then it also heals him for 237 so this is a great weapon obviously for paladins and shamans uh, but I kind of had some other ideas in mind now this weapon has a two uh, second attack speed so it is relatively quick and that's why I have seen some orc warriors using it as a offhand weapon uh, However, I would suggest that this weapon be used obviously by paladins and shamans for like solo farming. Uh, but that got me thinking what kind of other classes could I use as obviously shamans don't have the ability to dual wield yet. And since this weapon doesn't have any internal cooldowns, uh, seeing two of these being wielded at the same time, I was wondering how often you could really see these proccing. So I started testing this obviously on a hunter that I had and I wasn't able to get my hands on the axe itself, but I was able to get my hands on its little brother, which is in Blackrock Depths from the Seven Dwarves, the chest event. And this has this one has a 2.2 attack speed, and obviously the it has the same effect, it's just a little bit lower. It also scales with your spell power. Um, so I went out and tested it uh, to see how often it procced, and I wanted to know if Wing Clip did indeed increase the procs per minute or if it was just you know a, a static thing that was on white hits so basically here's some of the footage of me testing i tested for two minutes of just white hits and then two minutes of spamming wing clip rank one uh, and lo and behold it does work with spamming wing clip and i was actually able to get quite a few procs uh, i'm also lucky to have hodge on a hunter i know it just randomly dropped for me my first run doing it so i was able to pick that up and then i also have uh the the maelstrom um trinket from the dark moon fair and that actually procs quite a bit as well and this is with me w just wielding one weapon so you can think that if i have two weapons that have this proc it has obviously basically a two two times what I'm seeing here. And then also I will say that this weapon that I'm wielding here is a 2.2 attack speed and the ancient Hakari Manslayer is actually a two uh, second attack speed. So technically uh, if the proc rates were about the same, if I had two of them and it had a slightly faster attack speed, obviously I'm gonna be proccing this uh, much more often. Now. That leads me into the fact that you obviously need to have spell power in order to make this uh, setup work. Now for hunters, the best way to get spell power I found is picking up a lot of random blues uh, that have a decent amount of spell power. Now I tried to t take as many of the spell power pieces as male as I could. So if I did do some PVP with this set and I was attacking uh, melee classes, I would have enough armor to survive. Um, so here is the list of items that I went for. Almost all of them are fairly easy to get. The only one that I would say is a bit challenging is the ring because a lot of people are after that in ZG. Every other item uh, on this list, I see most people passing on. So if you're running with some people that kind of understood what you were doing, uh, they probably would let you roll on these items. 
Now, Hunter spell power is pretty useless for Hunter in general. It doesn't scale with your traps at all, so you can't uh, use spell power to increase your trap damage, which is really unfortunate. Uh, but the one thing that it is really nice for is Serpent Sting. Serpent Sting is going to get 100% increase from your uh, spell power, so it is a decent amount, and that's on the, the base damage of Serpent Sting. So your Serpent Sting will definitely be more effective and I would obviously suggest putting Serpent Sting on uh, and keeping it on as uh, th like throughout the fights. Um, now using your pet as Beastmaster, I would definitely be using a bat. It has the melee, um, basically a, a mini demoralizing shout that it has and it's also doing a decent amount of damage so that is going to be my suggestion for the pet that you use. And then in terms of anything else that you could use, I would suggest using Dragon's Breath Chili. Uh, this is going to have a very nice uh, cone of cold type AOE uh, in front of you. And so anyone in front of you when this procs will get hit and damaged by it. It has a 4% uh, chance uh, anytime just static 4% chance on any melee swing. So obviously if you're spamming your wing clip and you have two weapons that are both 2.0 um, or yeah, 2.0 uh, attack speed, uh, this thing should proc fairly often and it scales 100% with your uh, spell power. So it's going to be hitting for around 400. So obviously if you got lucky with your, with your procs and you go up and attack a target and you get a Dragon's Breath Chili proc, you get... Um, one or two of your weapon procs and then you get say you have one of the dark moon fair card uh trinkets you could easily be proccing some attacks for roughly around 1.5 to 2k damage um fairly close back to back now obviously that's just if all the stars aligned and you were able to proc all your things uh close together this obviously isn't going to be super effective but um I thought it was kind of an interesting thing to look at as there's not really many unexplored things in classic wow and uh seeing ted with that weapon and seeing how often it can proc um really made me uh, want to go out and test this on a hunter so after seeing this stuff it it shows me that it could be uh, a possibly like a fun uh, build to run around with when you're just messing around. Obviously, it's not going to compete with uh, a normal marksman build or something like that. And also, one thing to add, guys, I am putting together all this stuff on my hunter right now. Uh, I just haven't had any luck with getting the axes, so I haven't really been able to test much with that weapon specifically. I think I have somewhere around 250 spell power right now on all my gear that I've picked up. Uh, so I do need a few more pieces, but I obviously need those axes for the most part. Uh, like that's the big important thing. So as soon as I get all these pieces, I will throw another video together kind of showing the DPS of it and uh, giving you guys a little bit more information. But I just wanted to cover it real quick in today's video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.